the, the gentlemen from Wofford are here. And uh, coach, if you could give us your thoughts about the big win tonight in round one. How does our commissioner feel right now? Um, uh, just a hats off to a really a fine and exceptionally well coached uh, Seton Hall team. Um, knew that they were going to keep coming and keep coming. Miles is uh, is is awesome. Uh, I did th thought we did a pretty good job on him as a uh, as a team. Um, proud of my boys. Look forward to coming back over to Bar and practicing with this team. I can't tell you how enjoyable that has been for me and. The thought of Wofford coming back on Saturday uh, to, you know, face off against, you know, one of the great programs uh, in our country in uh, the Kentucky Wildcats. That's, uh, that's pretty cool stuff. We look forward to it. Coach, thank you. We'll open it up to everybody up here. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. We'll start here on the uh, third row. Yes. Uh, Fletcher, could you talk about when you guys got on the – after Nathan made his made two threes, and then you followed in the corner from the same spot that you had hit your two previous threes, uh, were you just kind of feeling it there because you had a decent lead, you didn't let that much shot clock expire? Was that more of a feeling it type thing? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I knew that you know we had a lot of momentum going for us, um, and you know me and Nate were kind of feeding off of each other at that point, so. You know, we ran, you know, the, the same play to get it over there, and uh, I felt like I was pretty open, so I decided to let it go. Uh, follow up for, for let's uh, get the mic on. Yes, Cameron, uh, could you pl give me what you feel is the distance that Fletcher will not go much beyond that to take a shot, like 26, 27? What 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 number would you put on it that okay, that's a little bit much? I, I don't know. <laughs> The kid, kid can shoot it, so when he's open, uh, I'm happy when he shoots it. So I don't, I don't want to cap him. Whenever he wants to stop, he can stop. But I'm going to just let him do his job and just hit threes. Other questions? Get your hand up, and let's go to the aisle here on the third row on the right, please. Yes, ma'am. Fletcher, can you just describe the moment when you hit the three that broke the record? Everyone was already standing on their feet before you even made the basket, right when you went to shoot it. And I was wondering if you were aware of the crowd and, and you could describe your emotions. Um, yeah, I, w I was aware of it just from you know, the media and everyone texting me and stuff saying I had three more or whatever. Um, so when I hit it, I noticed the crowd was definitely louder than just a normal three in the second half. Um, but, you know, I feel like I didn't get too caught up in it. You know, we still, you know, it was a close game. Um, you know, I was just focused on, you know, doing whatever I could to, you know, help us, you know, continue to stretch our lead and win down the stretch. Um, so I, f I feel like I, I was aware of it, but I just kind of blocked it out and tried to, you know, focus on winning. Other questions? Raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you on the far right over here, please. Jeff Silgett, USA Today. For the three players, what does it mean to be part of the first tournament victory in school history? Oh, it, <clears throat> it means a lot to all of us, but um, we know we can't get caught up in the moment. You know, we can enjoy it right now, but we know we have a lot of preparation to do, and we're going to have a very tough game come Saturday. So we can enjoy it right now, but we know we came here to win and we came here to make it as far as we can. So we're just, we're just going to get ready for Saturday. Got a few minutes left. Let's go to the third row here on the right, please. Uh, Fletcher, uh, could you just talk a little bit about how tough Seton Hall's defenders really made it for you, particularly Miles Kale, mm -hmm. number 22, because uh, it, it, it and you didn't seem to be forcing the issue very much in terms of you know getting frustrated and forcing up a shot. Um, yeah, they did. They did a good job, um, especially in the first half, of just topping me and kind of making it hard to get the ball. Um, but, you know, that's when, you know, Cam was playing amazing in the first half. You know, everyone else on our team was stepping up and doing a lot of things. So I knew that, you know, there's no need to, you know, rush it or, or take bad shots. You know, we were still controlling the game. Um, then the second half, they, they went more to the matchup zone. Um, and there's some more open looks in the second half. Let's go to the far left, third row. This is for all the players. Mark Story, Lexton Herald Leader. Have you guys watched Kentucky on TV this year? What, what are your impressions? What do you expect from them Saturday? Um, we've definitely watched uh, Kentucky. They're on TV all the time. Um, they're a very talented team. 
Um, they've got a lot of guys that can score the ball. They're very athletic. Um, so it's going to be a tough game, but we're welcoming the challenge. Any other questions? Questions for the coach? Question for the players? Right here, third row. Coach, how, gra how gratifying was it for you in the first half to watch your team go on a 13-0 run and not have Fletcher score at all? I didn't know that. Um, but, you know, I mean, we've seen that so many times. We didn't play our second bunch as much as, as we typically do. Um, but, you know, we've got a really talented team and a number of guys that can score. Big, you know, the big guy down there. I mean, anytime you can surround a person like Cameron with a number of guys that can crank it, and um, we've got a bunch of those. I mean, you're, you'd be hard to guard. Uh, but I wasn't aware of that. I uh, can't say that I was surprised, but gratifying. Yeah, on that stage, that's a big deal. Uh, enjoyable. Let's go to the back right, and we'll go back to the aisle here in a moment. This is for Coach Fletch and Nate. Um, the team seems to react differently to Cameron being the senior leader. Just what is it like having him on the floor, calming everyone down in those moments of chaos and, and stress and, and having that kind of leadership on the floor? Um, yeah, I think it's great. You know, Cam um, definitely settles us down, you know, in, in tough times. And we know we can throw the ball into him. You know, he's going to either get a great shot for us or – um, pass. Or he's either in a great shot for himself or pass it out. Um, and then you know, like when in the huddles, just talking, you know, communicating, um, you know, the the important things. Uh, I feel like he does a great job of of just making sure that you know we're calm and, and ready for the next play. Let's go here to the um, gentleman in the uh, right there. We'll go to the aisle next. Matt Connolly with the State Newspaper. Mike, what is it about your team that you guys finished the game on on a big run? Just it seems like you guys never get razzled and, and frazzled at the end. No, man, I've seen it. We haven't had a lot of close games. Um, but I think back to Greensboro, um, you know, Samford uh, down six with 50 seconds to play. Um, they never have that look about them uh, like, uh, like we've got a problem. Um, you know, Seton Hall takes a stab at us and, you know, take the lead. Uh, it was never an air of panic, never an air of, you know, oh, my God, we got a problem. Next possession, next best action, figure it out. Um, and they've done it time and time and time again. And um, so comforting as, uh, as a coach, uh, you know, to be able to just manage the team. You're not trying to encourage them. You're not trying to you know, lift their spirits. Um, you're coaching the team. What's next? What are, we, when, what are we looking at? That's a big deal. Let's go here on the aisle, if we can, and then we'll go to the far left, please. On the third row, please. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mike, obviously we knew that the record was going to come at some point tonight for Fletcher, but to have it come in a tournament game, how gratifying is that? for you as a coach to have that all wrapped up into one special night? Really, really neat. Really neat. And uh, what you don't see, what you don't, you, you don't have a pulse of is how uncommon he is and how hard he's worked uh, time and time and time again in that gym. I go over often uh, to watch film. I enjoy it, no phones. Uh, and I can't tell you how many times I walk in that gorgeous building of ours and there's a ball bouncing, and I know it's him. Uh, nine at night, ten at night, um, and he's not messing around. He's going at it, getting better. Um, so uh, proud of him, uh, and I can't begin to tell you uh, what a pleasure he has been to uh, to coach and uh, be a part of our program. We've got time for two more right here on the aisle, and then we'll go to you next, sir. Mark Long with AP. Fletcher, what was the, being two hours from home, what was the final head count for friends and family members who showed up? Uh, it was definitely a lot. Um, I'd say probably around like 50 people or, or so. Um, more than that. Maybe, maybe 7,500 people. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I had a lot of. Um, no, but I had a lot of some of my high school friends and teammates came, you know, a lot. Pretty much all my family that lives in Orlando, um, 
and just, you know, a lot of, you know, people that, you know, I've grown up with and, and seen along the way, they all, you know, came here to support me. Um, so it was really cool to, to have everyone come and, you know, for us to get the win like we did. Even cool to put on a show for him? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that definitely didn't hurt either. <laughs> Let's wrap up on the far left side here. Uh, this is uh, J.P. Pelsman, Rivals.com. This is also for Fletcher, a little, little different. Uh, y obviously, you, your teammates set good screens for you and, and all that, and you're the most prolific three-point shooter. So you know how hard it is to work to get open. Did you feel defensively you guys as a team made it hard for, for Powell to do his thing? It, I mean, it took him 25 shots to, to get his points. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> you know, our game plan was – you know, to load over and to really make make it tough on him and frustrate him. Um, so I feel like we did a decent job as a team. I know he ended up getting 27 on us, um, but we did a decent job as a team of, of making his points hard. You know, he had a lot of tough shots on us. Um, you know, when the guards got beat off the dribble, you know, the bigs were coming up and, and helping over. Um, so it was, it was definitely a collective effort by everyone on the team, you know, to try to limit his points or at least make his shots as hard as we could. Guys, thank you very much. Congratulations, Thanks, everybody. Thank you.